So number four we have, this is what is the square root of 64? What is the square root of 64? And again, we're not really using the, we, we can't really use the, uh, use, use the calculator here. Um, I'm assuming we can't use a calculator. So again, this is, uh, this is, we're working with pre-algebra or algebra one, we'll be working with radicals actually. So algebra one. So I'll give you a minute to think about this problem here. What is the square root of 64? So again, a minute to think about this, and then we are going to uh, look at uh, the solution together. So what is the square root of 64? There's kind of two ways to think about this question, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do both ways for you as well. So what is the square root of 64? Okay, so let's let's look over let's look over this problem. I'm gonna do this in blue. Uh, square root of 64 is um, you look at something like I'm gonna draw it out mathematically. So this is actually the square root. Of 64. So uh, what we can do with these problems is I can employ a guess and check rule or I can employ something called a um, kind of a synthetic division kind of rule for radicals. So I'm going to do guess and check first because that's actually that's usually what I would do uh, first to figure out if it's a perfect square, if it fact if it uh, if it, the square root is uh, a whole number. So how I would do this, I would do kind of a trial and error. And what I would do is I would I would look at my squared value. So for example, uh, one squared, and I would see if it would equal uh, equal 64, so the equal 60 uh, in the square root. So one squared would equal one, uh, two squared equals four, because two times two, sorry, I wrote 24, uh, would equal two times two, three times three or three squared would be nine, four squared would be 16, five squared would be 25, so five times five, right? It's just the number uh, multiplying by itself. 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, and 8 squared is 64, right? 8 times 8 is 64. So actually in this in this case, our answer is I can actually simply just do square root of 64 equals 8. And actually that's my solution. Um, so that's actually a guess and check that I, I would sometimes use if I were to look at um, look at square roots that are maybe like below 100 just because it's a it's a quick and easy way to check whether or not it's a perfect square right so again 8 times 8 uh, or 8 squared would equal 64 so that's gonna be my solution for this answer okay so this is a guess and check kind of solution here guess and check so that's one way of looking at it another way of looking at it would be um, would be kind of breaking down the square root in terms of prime numbers or or smaller numbers i would have to say so again this here is we're, uh it's actually very similar to the solution here so i'm actually gonna walk through you through the solution while i do this problem here so again uh, i like how they did the concept so square root of a number n is number multiplied by itself gives a number n which is good square root of 64 can be calculated by taking out the factors which is good so when we take out a factor what do we what do we mean by that by that what we can do is from this factor what we can do is what they did was they did something called like a, a can you, they, th they thought of this division as a long division question so they're dividing two out of 64 and then what they can do is um if you take two out two times what equals 64 two times 32 is 64 and then they take out another two which would be two times what equals 32 would be 16 and then two times what equals 16 two times eight equals 16 and they took out another two and then two times what equals uh, uh eight would be four and then two times two equals four, right? So that's good. So, I, so sorry, and this uh, two times, oh, I missed a four here. I missed a four here. Two times uh, eight is four, I missed a four here. And then two times two equals four, right? I'm left with two, and then I have one, right? Which is, and one times one is one, right? So we're good. And now what, what they can do is they're gonna rewrite this number as uh, in terms of these factors. So the two times two times two times two times two. So two times, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be, so they're writing out 64. So this number here as a factor of uh, these guys. So I'm gonna do some blue, uh, these guys here. So so I'm gonna do this as, so that they, they wrote 64 equals two times two times two times two times two times two. Or you can say that this is two to the power of one, two, three, four, five, six, two to the power of six equals 64, right? So that's good. 
uh, this is 2 to the power of 6 equals 64. Or you could rewrite this as, um, or you could rewrite this as, uh, you could say it's, uh, what how they wrote it here would be, or sorry, this is a square root, square root of 64, and this is square root of 64, right? And what they, what they could do is they could, re they also rebroke this down into 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2, right? And what we can do that, we can do that through our exponent laws, right? 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6, so I'm adding exponents, um, when we're multiplying them together, right? So that's cool. They, that's what they did here. And what they did was they canceled the square roots with the squares here. So um, because the square root in and uh, taking it to the power of two is the uh, uh, opposite operation. So that's what they did there. And they're all, they're left with this two times two times two, which is four times two, which is eight. So again, this here is, our, is, is also a very, very valid solution, which is awesome. But uh, what they did, uh, what I did here was I did a guess and check. So both of the, both of these questions work. Um, and I like here, uh, step two, since squaring a negative number, uh, uh, so, sorry, si since on squaring a negative number, a positive value is obtained, hence square of negative eight will also give us 64. That is also correct. So basically what they're doing here is that they're saying that um, positive eight squared is 64. But if I had negative, if I square negative, it would also equal 64. The square of negative 8 would also equal 64. So this here is also a solution. So the solution here is plus or minus 8, which is our solution here. And I actually forgot to put uh, plus or minus 8 in my solution. So um, that's actually uh, so good on the person from Columbia to kind of catch that. A lot of students, again, like even like myself, we always forget the, uh, the minus here. So plus or minus 8 is also our solution. So I'm going to say here, this is a perfect solution because they broke this down very, very, very nice. So it's perfect, perfect solution. Great step-by-step -step analysis. Sweet. <laughs>